Hi guys, it's Dr. Physics today and we're looking at the GCSE Physics Foundation tier, paper one and two, advanced material for 2022 exam. So everything you need to know for these upcoming exams. So what have AQA said? Well, AQA have sent out some information to your teachers and it says this, the format and, format and structure of the papers remains unchanged. So they're exactly the same as previous uh, papers. So the same kind of examined components. Um, each paper list shows the major focus of the content. So major focus of the content will be shown. Um, but also remember, you will be tested on what we call lower tariff items as well. OK, so it also tells you which required practical practical activities will be assessed. It also tells you topics not assessed either directly or through linked content. So what that means is linked to other parts of questions. So um, it's presented in specification order and I'll tell you what that means in a minute. And also they're going to assess all the practical skills. Your math skills are in there working scientifically. And it says it is not permitted to take this advanced information into the exam. But I ask, why would you? So um, obviously your teachers will have taught you pretty much the whole of physics. Um, and also uh, you still need to learn those things that are low tariff questions. So the lower mark questions, but they are going to be really important that you understand them. So um, they bring together knowledge, skills and understanding. So you get linked questions, sorry, from across the spec. So students still will be expected to apply their knowledge. Right. OK, so this is a spec specification code. So what you would do is you can use that address to go through to AQA. So or you just put it in Google search AQA GCSE physics and you'll get the specification. So this is kind of like the teacher Bible. It tells the teachers what to teach you, but you can use it too as well for your um, revision. So here's the subject content. So all the physics items and you can see they've given it a number. That number is the spec code. So, for example, here, 4.1 energy and then you've got it into a subunit of 4.1.1. And then we've got other subunits within energy changes. And so, as you can see, there is a big focus on energy, particle models of matter and also a bit on electricity as well. So let's look at the major focus items. So energy, you can see most of energy is there um, with a minor focus on the national and global energy sources. Um, and also the required practical two, which is insulation. Electricity, so there's a major focus on current potential difference and resistance, but you'll need to know everything else about electricity, including static electricity. So the only thing that won't be included is, is the domestic uses and safety. Particle model of matter, um, as you can see, again, changes of state, particle model, internal energy and energy transfers are important. The required practical five, density, so is going to be in there, but there's no particle model and pressure. Atomic structure, nothing on atoms and isotopes or nuclear fission and fusion. So they're going to concentrate definitely on atoms and nuclear radiation and also looking at the hazards of radioactive emissions. So paper two, um, you can definitely see there is a focus a bit on forces and also waves and a bit on the solar system. But it's quite a mixed bag, actually, if you look at it. So let's look at the first thing. So forces, definitely forces and in their interactions, work done and energy transfer. And then in forces and motion, they only mention, and this is really important to state, describing motion along a line. The other aspects of forces, acceleration, Newton, forces and braking will not be in there. They are not assessed. So just be careful in your revision when you revise that. OK, also, they're not going to include moments, levers and gears in waves. There is a strong focus on waves in air, fluids and solids, including the one and only required practical that you're going to be assessed on, which is reflection and refraction and electromagnetic waves. There'll be nothing on black body radiation. Magnetism, it's a lower tariff 
um, scores. So there'll still be questions on magnetism and electromagnetism, but not a major focus. But so you're still going to have to revise it. Um, so that's important. And space physics, just the solar system, orbital motions and satellites and nothing on red shift. Just a reminder, you will get an equation sheet and it's a revised equation sheet, so it will cover all the equations you need. Remember, you might have to uh, rearrange equations still, but it's got all the equations you need and you'll be given that in the exam. Some takeaway advice. So this is from a physics teacher's blog. So they're saying definitely learn the key terms. OK, don't forget the lower tariff marks. So things like magnetism still important. It says whilst some topics have been omitted, in other words, they've missed out. There is still a quite a lot of content that will be used in lower tariff or linked questions that will be part of what we call the scaffolding process. So as they develop a question, they'll still have things in there. Paper one suggests the main focus is energy changes, particle models of matter. Paper two, there's a strong uh, emphasis on forces and waves. It says as well, and I've said it already, forces and motion. The only section being tested is distance, speed, velocity, distance, time graphs and acceleration. A definite question is on this. If it's a major focus, and that's the only part of forces and motion they're going to cover. It, there's going to be a question on those things in the exam. Right. OK, so I hope you found that useful. Please do keep subscribed. I'm going to be doing some more physics in the future. I hope everything goes well for your exams. Keep at it. Answer every question and you will get there. See you soon.